been overwhelming the amount of, of entries and the amount of people that have arrived today, even just to gather outside, even if they're not taking part. But it's hard for us to know because we're in the run. Um, we'll know more tomorrow or when we look back on our, on our records and see how many how many registrations there actually were. And then like people are very good, they donate, you know, even if they're not taking part. So uh, judging by the crowd, a big success. Hopefully when we when we count a few bob tomorrow it'll be bigger and better than last year. Um, when Amy passed and the penner did more than a funeral came around, um, Dad decided that uh, no one should wear black or dark colours because Amy was so young and vibrant and she was so full of, full of fun. And we didn't want it to be, you know, we wanted it to be a celebration of her life and we didn't want it to be really sad and dark. So um, the last uh, dress that Amy wore, the last party, she went to happen to be purple. And she loved purple and pink and all those kind of girly colours. So we just put a, a status up on Facebook asking everybody to wear purple and spread the word and everybody did. And it kind of has snowballed since then and purple is the colour now. And then actually a couple of months after Amy passed, the CF uh, Association of Ireland changed their colour to purple. Where previously it had been white with some green and different colours on it, but purple is now the colour overall. So very important to us, purple. <laughs> It was absolutely brilliant, it was such a great turnout and uh, everyone really enjoyed it. The kids loved it, they were all running around and they are having their face painted and I can see so many people just wearing purple like yourselves in their t-shirts, their jumpers, everybody, it's just purple crazy, trucks, every, like there's so much going on. There's so many people have turned up and it's, it's always a great event but this year has been just, it's been brilliant. Lots and lots of walk behind the scenes and people, even the committee don't know about that. They could be on Facebook there all hours at night, all hours in the morning, like even once beforehand to trying to set up or to get people even to help you out. Like there's lots of the back behind the scenes work that people know not know about me. Like there's four three of us going that like that. It's just hard. It's so important to have volunteers because of the amount of work that goes in many, many weeks before the run. You know, that people just realise what work is put into it. And we love putting all that work into it because of our beautiful Amy. You know, and we want to thank everybody so much for the amount of work to put in to help us because without that we wouldn't be able to do it on our own. You know, and family, friends from surrounding areas are just unbelievable. They're, they're absolutely brilliant. You know, without that, we couldn't do it. In memory of our beautiful family. The importance of having them marshals on the motorbikes. They go ahead of us, obviously, to stop the traffic. Um, they, they actually come every single year, and there's probably about 15 of them. Um, and they come from all over Carlo, and they're, up, they're friends with the family as well. They come here before the truck run starts. They make sure everyone, everyone is ready to go. They stand out on the road, they go ahead of us, stand out with the roundabouts, uh, work, they work with the guards. We're only saying that as we're going through the truck run that how important it is to have them. They were flying up beside us coming along and they were on the ball all the time. They're absolutely brilliant the whole lot. Yeah, you know, it's great, absolutely brilliant. You know. um, and all the help we get from the motorbike fellas, they do the traffic for uh, the guards themselves, the talkers here, they look after us and uh, puts all the fellas with the tractors and the trucks and uh, that's come from all over the place and it's absolutely, absolutely brilliant you can't, you know, you can't say any more about those people you know. just, it's only a matter of asking them and up to turning no question, no problem so. <laughs>